Welcome back, Legion. Today I want to talk to you guys about adding conditioning to your rehabilitation program and what conditioning should look like in your rehab program. So it's important to get some help from a physio and a strength and conditioning coach. Together you should be able to create a plan and set some goals and targets for your rehab program. And conditioning should be a big part of this as well. Considering a lot of sports actually need conditioning as a part of your performance, if we think about AFL and rugby and soccer, basketball, frisbee, etc., running is running is a super large part of the sport. You're actually probably spending more time running than you actually are in possession of the um, ball or disc. So it's a big part of it. I mean, even other sports. Say even like strength sports, conditioning is still kind of a small part of it to, to keep you going and, and make sure that you don't get out of shape um, and help you actually lift more because you're not tired and you can recover quicker between sets, etc. But it's important to understand that early on, once you've been injured, to try to maintain as much of your fitness as possible and not get too deconditioned. This is obviously gonna help us integrate back in when we're ready to add in um, some of the more specific conditioning as you progress through your rehabilitation. So even if you've had a pretty bad injury where you say can't run or change direction or work at the intensity that you wanna do or perform a skill um, that you you can't do because you've because of your injury we need to modify it in some way hence why in the background here we've got the bike um, and we've got the ski erg and even the roller is directly behind me and these are great tools to use as off heat conditioning and this is just what we've got to do sometimes so we've got to somehow keep your fitness up without having the impact of running so these are great ways to go about it. Obviously we can use swimming as well, we can use ropes. There's so many different ways to, to skin this cat, but the idea is, is that you need to keep on top of it early on. From there, we can start to think about preparing to get back into the specific conditioning. Now, depending on what this is, I'm just gonna use an example of running, because that's, that's the majority of return to play conditioning that we do here. So running is gonna be a big part of the sport. Now you need to prepare before you start running. If you have a bit of a layoff, ideally what we wanna do is actually do some low level plyometrics, hopping, skipping, little bounding, just, just little stuff that's low level, just to prepare you. You might do this for a week or two, just to get those deconditioned muscles and tissues, just prepared again to run. Because running is actually very ballistic in nature. It is actually very plyometric. You're actually standing on one leg at a time and, and rebounding, and it is, it does actually generate, you need a lot of force to, to run correctly. Now to avoid getting re-injured or causing other problems because you've jumped straight back into running without any preparation, it's important to get this done just enough just to get you ticking over. Then from there we can progress to some lower intensity jogging, so like some jog walks. Right? This is a great place to, for us to start, especially if we've done our prep work before this. Then we can slowly start to increase the intensity and volume a little bit. Maybe go into fartleks where we do like a run, jog, walk. And then ideally moving towards intervals and change of direction intervals as well. Our next step is to kind of integrate, integrate back into training and add in some sport specific conditioning. Um, ideally we like to do this with some kind of change of direction because that's what's gonna happen in sport. We're gonna have to run, stop, accelerate, change the direction, we're gonna to have to do that repeatedly. So it's important that the back end of the, the rehabilitation program has this type of specific conditioning involved. The idea of this back end of the rehab program is to prepare you for the actual sport itself. Now whether this is just to return back into full, full skills training or to return you back to actual playing games, it's important to get this component done and integrated together with the skills training. So don't neglect one or the other, both are as important as each other. You just wanna make sure whatever you get done is at a level and intensity that is gonna match or maybe even supersede what you're gonna do in the game. So you are more than truly well prepared to come back and play at your absolute best. Like I always say, if we can get you back better than when you were injured before, we're in a better position. That means that our risk of getting injury is a lot less likely. But sometimes this isn't always the case and that's okay. As long as we can get you back to good enough and performing well in your sport with
without getting injured again and no, and no dramas, then that's our goal. And that should be your goal too. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.